So next up, we want to talk about insurance agency team member enthusiasm. Now, you might be thinking, is this really a requirement for their job? Would I fire someone for not being enthusiastic? And they say, absolutely. I've had the pleasure of being in so many tra tra trainings with agencies where everyone's quiet. They're just sitting there. As if part of getting better at your job wasn't something that should get you fired up. But it doesn't matter. Nothing gets them fired up. You could give them a $1,000 bonus. It doesn't get them fired up because of this. They're literally treating this like a job. When five o'clock hits, they can't wait to get out of there. And you don't want people like that on your insurance team. Yes, it's hard to find people, and I understand that, but we can train new people into this industry. You just have to be creative about it. And so often we find people that are just, mm-hmm, yep. And the worst thing that they do is they say yes to your face and go do something totally different. And they just appease you. And I think that is just the biggest form of disrespect to an agency owner or a leader. Now, I always play on my head, would they get away with that if they worked at a carrier? Absolutely not, 100% not. So why do we put it up within our agencies? I feel like too often we have too low of a standard for our own team members. And this causes a lot of headaches and honestly, a lot of drama. And then you end up trying to fix people as opposed to getting people who are enthusiastic that wanna learn and wanna embrace things. I do this for a living. I go to different agencies and really work through those challenges. And it is amazing to me I can walk into an agency and be like, they're gonna kill it. Or I can work into an agency and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna have to have a tough discussion with an agency owner about the fact that, you know, you're not gonna change these people. And in fact, the thing that has to change is giving them 90 days to get on the ship or get off. And you guys have to make some hard decisions. But I have seen people form like mini union bands of they're not gonna do this, they're not gonna do that. They're gonna be grumpy about everything. And guys, life is too short and your agency is too important and your customers don't deserve that either to be putting up with that. So let's really focus on the fact that you have people that want to be a career, two people are coming in for a paycheck. And I'll tell you, one is way better than the other. Hi everyone, we made it to Labor Day, right? And I think Labor Day is just a great holiday. It symbolizes sort of the winding down of summer and the start of, or heading into fall. Now out here in New England, our kids go back late. Some of you have already got your kids back in school, but we think it's a great time to just sort of hit the restart button in your agency. You know, summer vacations are ending and now we can go ahead and think about the fall. What I wanna do is say, give you guys a big, big gift. I love employee incentives and recognition. And you know, we have our online store with our ridiculously amazing insurance agent swag. We've got hoodies and we've got coffee cups and we've got t-shirts and anything that you could ever imagine. So if you wanna welcome your team back from Labor Day in style, we're actually offering a coupon at 25% off if you lose the code Labor Day. So check it out. You might find some good stuff for your team. Maybe there's an anniversary or a birthday you want to recognize, or you're doing a big team meeting, you know, as a, to celebrate your success. All these things are great. So 25% off code Labor Day. Don't miss out. We'll see you in the next three minute video.